expiration dates don't lie. A tale by a- Have you ever wondered what would happen if you ate something past its prime? Would you shrivel up and sizzle, or fall dead right on the dime? We take you to a lonesome street to solve this solemn riddle. What food will be consumed today from the fridge or from the griddle? A boy named Jim had friends with him. They were rather rude. One walked past Jim away from them through the kitchen door to search for food. When getting food from the refrigerator, one should probably note that you should check the expiration date before shoving it down your throat. Jim hurried through the tall wood arches to try to stop his brain-dead friend, for if he ate the food within, his short life would come to an end. Jim entered the small kitchen room just in time to see his friend on the floor with rashes galore and bubbles popping just below the knee. Egad, said Jim, no friends with him. You should have checked the date. I did, I did, said friend of Jim, but by that time it was too late. The hospital could not help now. The police were out of use. That is why you can't deny never eat cottage cheese, turned to chartreuse. I know CPR, said Fred Magar, who just came running in. But in a battle between dumb and good, good will never win. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, said friend of Jim, but death was coming near, and at that second, in a blink of an eye, foam started pouring out of his ear. Grab a cork, grab a cork, said Jim to Fred, who obeyed with dog-like speed, for if they could stop the foam in the ear, his life would soon be saved. That's all they would need. No need to hear, Jim stuffed the cork in his ear and prayed his plan would work, but friend of Jim began to inflate, then jiggle, bounce, and jerk. He's gonna blow, said Fred to Jim. There's nothing we can do. Grab a chair, grab a chair, there's no time to spare. Then came a giant pop almost out of th the blue. <laughs> With bits of Jim's friend raining down on them, it felt like a normal spring day. Jim hoped it wouldn't be the same when he had 20 kids over to play. Jim went to the closet and got a shovel with speed, but how would Jim ever explain his friend with the greed? Piece by piece, Fred and Jim put the boy back together, his legs green as grass, his face hard as leather. Woe is me, said friend of Jim, still missing many toes. I'll never ever be greedy again, or at least till my hearing goes. We leave you in great misery, because I've just been told. A boy down on 51st Street ate a carrot covered in mold. Mm -hmm.